Hello everyone, Josh first back again bringing you guys some more Digimon Rerise and I do apologize for the late upload. I was meaning to make this video earlier today, but I got, you know, caught up doing a lot of things, but here we finally are. So, today's video we're going to be talking about a pack that I think all of you should be purchasing in the shop. We're going to be talking about the contents of the pack, what you can expect from it, and how good it really is. Now, some of you have been on the fence about this. I've seen some of you in the Discord and on other forms of social media talking about this pack, you know, should you buy it, should you not? Well, I'm giving you my personal take and my input on it, and I personally feel that it's 110% worth it. So, without further ado, let's talk about it. So, if you go to your shop here, as soon as it loads, hopefully they do improve the loading times uh, going between pages in, uh, within the UI. But anyways... So when you're finally in the shop, if you actually go to, uh, I believe it's under the purchase items. Yes. Yes, it's right here under purchase items. You can get the limited time only. You can only get one of these and it's right up here. It's in the very top left. It is called the release day mega digi egg set. An item set that gives you a digi egg that hatches a Digimon that will digivolve to mega as well as some useful items when purchased. Comes with bits and CB medals as a bonus. Release day digi egg times one. Mega Ebamon chain. So basically these are the Digimon that are available that you can get from this egg. You got um, Ebamon. You have High Andromon, which is very good. You've got Puppamon, very good. Uh, Platinum Numamon, probably one of the lesser ones in this in this uh possible uh possible pack um actually no way i think the deaf one i think that yeah i think the deaf one was the bad one because there's two of them here i believe the deaf one was the bad one and then the tenacious one was the good one because there are two different platinum numamons um people always make the joke that they're platinum shitmon because they look like a pile of shit um, for those of you guys who get a kick out of it, but I believe it's the deaf one that's bad and the tenacious one that's good. I might have that backwards, so if any of you know that's been playing the JP version for quite a bit, because it's been a hot minute since I played it, let me know in the comment section below, but I believe it was the deaf one that's bad and the tenacious one that's good, but I might have that backwards, so keep that in mind, guys. But either way, one of those is good. <laughs> um, got Prince Mamimon, which a lot of people don't seem to like. I think it's more or less his design people don't like, but he's actually very good. He's not as um, good defensively as like a high Andromon, but Mamimon still provides very good defensive capabilities for your entire team on his skill 2. And his skill 1 also allows for your block rate to go up as well for your entire team. So if you use both skills, he's actually pretty good, especially for higher... Uh, level raid bosses. He's been really carrying me quite a bit in like raid 7, 8, um, and hopefully going forward. So he's been a very good Digimon for me. I just, I think a lot of people just don't like him because of the way he looks. Because, you know, half and half of liking a hero in a hero collector game is their skills that they offer. And then there's also people who just want the design to look cool. And if it doesn't look cool, they don't like it by default. It's just the way it is. It's kind of the mentality a lot of players have adapted over the years. But, he is very good. Uh, then we got Minerva Mon, obviously very good. Great AoE, going to be good for farming, you know, story stuff like that, help you get through dungeons quicker. Very good, and in PvP as well, when we do get that. Then you have Rave Mon, um, and Metal Siege Mon, and I believe that's it. So I would say of the available Megas that we have here, if you get a High Angel Mon, a Minerva Mon, or a Puppamon, I feel like that's probably the top of the of the choices here that you could get. Obviously, you can't choose because it is RNG, but if you can get one of those three, then that's a steal. If you get the good Platinum Numamon, Prince Mamimon, um, I would even go as far as, say, a Ravemon. I'd say you did pretty good. And to Oh, Boltmon's in there as well. I can't believe I missed Boltmon. He's very good for... Uh, uh, raid boss and PvP as well. He hits very hard, and I believe he also has a burn effect. So, uh, yeah, you got some really good choices in here. Now, obviously, there's a couple Digimon in here that aren't as good as others, but at the end of the day, guys, it's 200 rubies, and you're guaranteed a Mega. You could spend 200 rubies on a banner right now and get no Mega at all. So, already, guys, it's worth it just for the Mega alone. But then they also throw in a bonus 500,000 bits and unless you guys are using the Bit Vortex, which costs 10 and 20 stamina to get the good amounts, you're not going to be getting 500,000 bits easily. So, 
just to throw in 500,000 bits on top of a guaranteed mega and a thousand clash battle medals that is pretty good so this is a in my opinion a must-have pack that you should be buying and it's only 200 rubies you're going to get that from story free to play even if you already did the five steps you're still going to get it let me just show you guys what i mean i'm on chapter 10 of story right now and i have not tried to three star clear everything and i already have 320 rubies saved up after i've already done the five steps to get my war Greymon. So everyone in the game can easily afford this free to play, completely free of charge. Everyone should be able to get that pack and still do their five steps from just story gems alone. Story rubies, rather. So that's going to be it for me on this video, guys. I just wanted to kind of take a minute to talk about that pack, talk about what you could possibly get, um, some of the options, and kind of discuss my personal take, you know, my perspective and what I feel um, it, it's worth it about that pack. And I do strongly feel that everyone should be purchasing that. It's a limited time. It's only got 50 days left at the recording of this video. You can only get it one time. I highly recommend, again, getting it. Now, the second pack. Let's take a look at the second pack that's available here for 100 rubies. The Digimon Training Set. Now, I don't believe this one is limited. I think this is just going to always be there. Um, but you can only buy it once. Um, what's in it? A item set that gives you items useful for training your Digimon. Super uh, Digivolve Core times three. I'm sorry, Digivolve Co times three. Protein times one. All types from Workout Chip. One, two, and three. One of each. Prime Steak. Exceptional Sushi. Luxurious Mushroom. Enriched Pumpkin. And Huge Coconuts. Melons, Cake, Rice, and Burgers. So basically just most of this pack is food. That you can feed your Digimon to try and get their bond up. Um, I'm not really seeing the value in that pack at all, to be honest. 100 rubies, if you convert that to just pure stamina, that, depending on what your rank is, like for me personally, that'd be over 400 stamina. 100 rubies for 400 stamina would go way further for me for development of my account than buying that pack. Like, way more. So honestly, I feel that pack is garbo. But the limited time Mega Digimon Egg Pack, 100% worth it. Go for it, guys. Um, you know, at least, you know, that's what I think. Again, it's up to personal opinion what you feel is worth or not worth, but I strongly, strongly consider you guys looking into that pack and thinking hard on it because it is, I mean, again, it's a mega for 200 rubies. You go into a banner and spend 200 rubies and get nothing out of it. And you're getting 500,000 bits and 1,000 combat medals on top of that. And 1,000 combat medals is quite a bit of raid battles. Uh, worth so I mean again it's only 200 rubies one time do it um, obviously the mega is going to be RNG but still it's a mega no matter what and some of you is going to get very very lucky and worst case scenario you're still going to get a lot of bits out of it and a thousand common medals so anyways hope you guys all enjoyed my take on that let me know what you guys think about the pack in the comment section below Are you guys enjoyed Digimon Rerise let me know all that and more and I will have some more videos coming your way very very soon and I might even do a surprise live stream who knows, could be later today after this video, or it could be tomorrow, but it's coming soon. Just keep just keep that in mind. Make sure you tick notifications. If you subscribe, if you're new, please do so. And don't forget to like the video if you did, and I'm going to talk to you all in the next one. Have an awesome day wherever you are. Until then, peace.